Hey guys, Kid Guru here with the actual tutorial today. I know I haven't done one in a while. I've been uh, doing a lot of video videos from my other channel, youtube.com slash digital dojos. I've been focusing a lot on that, so do check that out if you aren't subscribed yet. Again, it'll help out a lot. There's a giveaway coming up. Just check it out. A lot of great content from users like me, uh, Mobile Phone 2003 or Duncan, Wii 493, Nuno Katka. There's a lot of great content out there, so do check that out. But today I have a, a quick tutorial for you guys, and uh, this may be a little bit old, I know Windows 7's been out for a while, but I still get the question and, uh, you know, it's been highly asked in email, like what theme I'm using for my Windows 7, a lot of people have seen it in my Digital Dojo's video and stuff like that, and my recent video, so they just want to know what theme I was using and how did I patch it for Windows 7 for getting a custom theme. Now, I know some of you may already know how to do this, but this for those who don't. So you can see here, down below I have so a different theme, this is the Slant XP2 theme. You can also see by the Windows and my... Uh, what do you call that? On oh my, uh, uh, you know, the browser right here, you can see the top is different. Oh, whoops, sorry. The top's different. You can maximize. And, uh, actually, the font is also different, but, you know, a whole bunch of the whole theme in general is all changed. I can even open up in the, right here to show you my start menu. Open up documents window. You can see it's black. It's, this is a Slant XP2 theme. So, um, yeah, this is a really, really nice theme for, that was originally for XP, and I think it came out for Vista as well, but this is the mod for uh, Windows 7. Now, to patch it, it's pretty easy. Now, there's a couple ways you can do it. There's one where you can manually do it and take ownership of the files, but I thought that way is more uh, too tedious. Uh, there's a, a utility that does it right for you, uh, and this says Windows does not allow you to install third-party themes. You have to patch them, the system files, so you can use a software like UX Style Core, which are the universal theme patcher, which allows you to install themes on Windows 7 and Vista easily. So basically, you install this. Um, uh, there's a couple links for different versions, but I'll send you. I'll leave links in the video description, and then you'll get a zip file uh, like so. And basically, there's a universal theme patcher, and you pick your version depending on 64-bit or a, you know, 64 bit or 32-bit. And UAC is gonna pop up real quick. And basically, it's gonna look like this. I guess English, or depending on whatever version of universal theme patcher you download. In this case, mine's a 64-bit edition and says the OS needs to patch three files. And for my case, those three files have already been patched. It'll tell you how many files need to be patched in your case. Uh, the current OS is already ready for third-party themes, so I don't need to patch this. Uh, you know, you can hit yes, obviously, for your patching for the first time. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and hit no. Um, and then afterwards, you're going to want to go out there and find a theme, you know, a third-party theme. Tweak Windows 7 has a lot of great themes uh, that you can get from multiple sites. NeoWin, 7 Forms, Desk Modder. One of my favorites is Deviant Art, or De you know, Deviant Art, however you want to pronounce it. Basically, you click it, and it will show you where the Windows 7 Visual Styles here. So you can click Visual Styles 7, and you'll get a huge list of visual styles. And you can browse like I do by popular all time. And you can go ahead and take a look at this. For example, this is Shine 2.0, which actually looks really nice. This one I was been looking at really, really simplistic. Uh, and you know they have a lot of amazing themes. They have screenshots here, so this one's kind of you know uh, luminescent, transparent type theme. So you can check that out. Um, and yeah, you can check out the comments, etc. And usually they have like other files in it. Uh, you know if they have like program skins and stuff like that, they'll have links for you to download those also. So you can just download your theme, um, and then after that you just apply the theme. Just double click it. Uh, usually they're in an archive, a zip file, unzip them, double click the file. And Windows 7 will automatically change it for you. And I can just, you know, show you, for example, when I go into personalize, you can see here, Slant XP, you know, I just click it and it would change it. I have also have another one called uh, Thai or Thigh Impact, however you want, or, yeah, I guess the Impact. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and it's as simple as that to patch your Windows 7. I'll leave all links in the video descriptions. I'll also leave a link to the NeoWin, or the actual, yeah, the NeoWin site so you can have, or Tweak Win 7, I should say. So you have all these links of all these sources for visual styles. Love to hear what styles you guys are using, if you're using any, uh, your favorite styles, any styles you recommend. I'll leave a link to my style as well in the visual, or in the video description, I should say. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I have more coming out for you guys. I usually want your guys' feedback, so if you guys have a problem, you want to know how to do something on Windows 7, on XP, on Vista, uh, shoot me an email, or even Mac OS 10. I'm going to start doing Mac OS 10 videos now. I'm getting ready for that as well. Uh, I want to get back into the video role. So, uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I think it's just about under five minutes. And all links, again, will be in the video description. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and check out the site at digitaldojos.com and, of course, youtube.com slash digitaldojos. Thanks a lot, guys.